Today I'm actually opening up a $150 Pop King Paw Funko Pop Mystery Box. So he sold this back or it shipped, I think it was back in May. I think it was. But it was $150 bucks plus shipping. And this thing was called the Saturday Night Second Chance Mystery Box Surprise. Before I actually do this, actually went on sale May 8th. Went on sale. So I've had this thing for you know, a little bit of time now. Before we jump into this box, though, we got some appetizers for a little special treat. We're actually jumping into our DeLorean and going back in time over two years. So I'm digging through some of my older mystery boxes because I've told you before, I have boxes from 2018 still. I've never opened up mystery boxes, like some old Toy SA boxes from like three years ago back when their boxes were like sold out in a matter of seconds. You remember back in those days, three years ago, Toy SA was like hard boxes to get. You had to be like on it. I have some of those boxes, so I just gotta find them. But I was digging around and I found a small stack of old Shumi mystery boxes. These were shipped March 28th, 2019. So we're talking, these are yeah, these are 20, I've had these things for like 27 months, two years and three. I'm actually filming this uh, in June of 2021, whenever this thing is published, I don't know, probably this month sometime. But yeah, these are some old mystery box. I have no idea what the price point was on these. I think I had, a, I think I found a total of like maybe like 10 or 12 boxes, all from over two years ago. So I like using these kind of boxes as appetizers. And this is actually what I used to buy these for, was for appetizers for more expensive mystery boxes. And over two years ago, what Shumi did was if you bought a pop, you could win an entire set of pops as for free. But obviously, um, <laughs> if I do win something, it's null and void because two years later, those pops will no longer be available, <laughs> which is kind of funny. And, but they actually did sell some that were just mystery boxes with a chance at some cool stuff. So I don't know what kind of mystery boxes these are. I don't know the price point. Some of those were like 15 bucks, some were 20 bucks. So these are some true mystery warm-up boxes. And it will be funny. Because if you remember the old Shumi boxes, if like one of the big perks was you won like an entire set of pops that were coming out. It'd be funny if I actually won. <laughs> you know, it's no good. But here we go. First one, it is not a winner. <laughs> we have Minecraft. Alex. This one was made in 27. This thing is four years old. This actually might have some value to it now. That's kind of like the cool thing when you do mystery boxes that have been sitting for several years. And you like back whenever they they actually boxed this up, this pop was only like a little bit like a year old. Or no, a little over two years old. Now it's four years old. This actually might have some value to it. Let's find out. I'm gonna look at the whatnot app, look at PPG value. So PPG for this one, ooh, is six bucks. So I'm sure I probably paid at least 10, 12, 15 bucks for this mystery box. And two years later, it's only worth six dollars. <laughs> That's funny. Here we go. Box number two, appetizer box to get warmed up for the bigger boy box. Once again, this is a 27 month old mystery box that has sat in storage for over two years. Over time, you're going to see me digging through storage, trying to pull out older mystery boxes I never opened up. I got to find them all. I got to find those 2018 boxes because I have some. And this one, Ooh. Captain Marvel. Not the chase. It is nothing. I know this one honestly is probably worth like six or eight dollars itself. Okay, on whatnot, six bucks. <laughs> so both of these did not mature in value in the past two years. They've actually gone down in bad. They don't, they're not even worth retail prices two years later. But here we go. 150 bucks. So here's the kind of interesting about this box. This was a complete mystery box. There was no picture showing what, what, what was available, what was possible. But uh, like I said, this was sold back on May 8th, 2021. It was 150 per box plus shipping. 30 total boxes. 4 to 6 pops per box. This box will be a 4 pop box. Guaranteed value. It's been 150, 150 guaranteed back. Of course, prices fluctuate. I've had this box now for you know, several weeks. Pops range between 8 to 9.5 condition. And 
yeah, that's all the information that, that you had. It was a total mystery box. You're going in completely blind, not even knowing what the big hits are. But $150 guaranteed value, that means each pop in here has to be worth a minimum of like almost 40 bucks a piece. So, I mean, of course they won't be. There's probably going to be, you know, one bigger hit and three smaller hits. Here we go. Hopefully I reach and I feel, I feel a hard stack. That would be nice. Okay, they are all four in soft protectors. Little peak there, upside down. So since they're all in soft protectors, I have no clue to know which one's going to be the bigger hit. We'll just pull them out one at a time. Hope for the best. Let's see what I get. First one, I just hope I don't pull out like, like the big hit the first pop. First one. So we have a, oh, Professor X. Target exclusive Professor X. What year is this? 2020, this is a much newer pop. So it's probably not super expensive. Professor X. Pretty cool looking pop though. Probably not super expensive. 15 bucks tops, I bet. Let me do this one. Uh, I can't do it. I'm just trying to feel. Looks like, feels like this case, or this soft protector is a 0 0.50 protector. It feels a little bit f like firmer. So this one might be the bare hit because it's like in a 0 0.50. We'll find out though. Next, we got Disney Gargoyles. Demona. Disney Gargoyles. This one is 2018. And it looks like the first two pops, I don't see any, just through the pop protectors, I don't see any massive damage to them. And actually, this this actually is a seven bucks a pop, Pop Shield Pop Protector, the official pop protector of the Franchise Case YouTube channel. Check them out if you want pop protectors. So first two. No big hits yet. So this one's a 0.45 and this one feels like a 0 0.50 protector. So the 0.50 has to be the big hit. That's how I would do it, you know, if I was doing a mystery box. Here we go. Next one. We got Animaniacs. Some of these have gone up in value, the Animaniacs. We got Dot Animaniacs. Some of these have gone up in value. This one is from 2016. It actually has like a Hot Topic sticker on the bottom of it. Five-year-old pop. This actually might be the big hit in this box. I've sold a few Animaniac pops, and some are like 100 bucks, 80 bucks. They're pretty good value. Like the uh, Yakko and, and the Wacko. I've sold both of those, and they're actually got they got pretty good value to them. So that's actually this one might be the big hit in this box. Here we go. Last one. This one is in a .50 protector. This one has to be the big hit, unless that was the big hit. Here we go. Oh, American Horror Story Coven, Papa Legba. What year is this one? 2014. So this one's probably going to be pretty good size in terms of value. For, man, I haven't watched Coven for a long time. I actually need I, I need to go back and watch the American Horror Story back from season one on. Fantastic series. They haven't made it now for a couple years. Ever since the last one was at 1984. Four. Is that what it was called? Was the last one, I think. Um, I haven't made one for... It's been like two years, I bet, at least. So hopefully they do come out with a new season of American Horror Story because it is a fantastic show. But anyway, let's see some PPG value on these. So I'm looking at the WhatNot app once again. And first pop, Professor X. Ooh, only $6. That's not very much. <laughs> Six bucks, first pop. Pop number two, we've got Demona. July of 2018 it came out. On the WhatNot app, the PPG value is $14. So the first two, we're looking at only 20 bucks. So yeah, one of these two must be a big, big hitter in terms of price. I'm guessing it must be this one. I'm really not too sure. It has to be. Then we have Dot, produced 2016. And it's actually fifty dollars. Let me actually see condition on dot. So this is one of the bigger hits. Dot. Not too bad. I'd say about nine out of ten condition. Not too bad for a five-year-old pop. Fifty dollar value right there. So that gives us right there seventy bucks, which means this last pop has to be worth pretty much like at least eighty dollars in value because it's guaranteed value. So. 
80-ish or so. Maybe actually might be over that. Because I've never had this pop before, so I'm not too sure. We got the last one, American Horror Story Coven, Papa Legba. It came out, it says 2014. So it's probably long vaulted and is worth 90 bucks. Let me actually see condition on this. See what see what it see what it looks like. Can we take it out? Looks like sometimes these pop protectors can catch the corner of the pop box and can actually crease it. Some of these can do that and the depends on how the box was folded. And this one was kind of catching it, so I wanted to carefully open it up. And condition for a seven-year-old pop. That's nine out of ten. That's pretty that's that's pretty nice for seven-year-old pop. That's pretty nice. So all in all, the grand total for this box, 160. I spent 150, got back 160. So even if you include my shipping cost in, I broke even. And I got four pops. They're all in fantastic condition. Nothing new. Well, I guess the Professor X is kind of new. But I mean, all four were in fantastic shape. And I'm happy. No massive, massive major hits. But one that's worth 90 and one that's worth 50. I'm good with that. Those are two nice hits right there. So once again, Pop King Paul. Mystery box. I'm satisfied. And we'll do some more in the future.